a 6 foot 4 player with 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy, and 99 strength. With the aerial plus playstyle and the power header, this guy is going to jump out of the stadium and still score. Zergze, I don't know, when I saw him, it's such a unique player. And we're going to try him out today. This is usually not my type of play that I would play with. I'm very bad at crossing and heading the ball. I almost never do it. So it's going to be interesting to see if with his stats, I'm able to do it. Because usually I ain't. But the fact he also has 96 ball control and 92 dribble with 91 vision, 91 short passing, 89 curve, 94 finishing. This card looks absolutely insane. There are two ways you can play him. You can play him with a hunter to really put him in his power as like someone who can have the ball, is strong and everything and just boost his pace and shooting. Or you want to make him a little bit adjustable to your play style and play with an engine to make him a little bit faster, but especially improve his agility and balance a little bit. I'm going to try both today and I'm even going to try him with an engine on a camp position to see how he plays there because over the years I loved playing with a big striker on the camp position and it always worked out for me. So I'm going to see if that this year works again. I haven't tried it this year yet. I'm going to play him in this team in a 4-2-3-1 formation. First as the striker and I'll try him as a hunter and an engine on striker and after that I will also try him on a camp with an engine. And I'm just very curious to see if I can handle him because I use you don't play with plays like that and of course he has four star four star with high low work rate which is amazing for a striker and one of the reasons i also want to try him on the camp position is his power shot plus when you play with a player like this on the camp position you give him a little bit more space to perform the power shot plus so we're gonna see how it's gonna work out let's jump into the first champs game okay let's see if we can get a cross in okay like i said i'm bad at this i don't know how to get a good cross Okay, let's test him out. Okay, the power shot is good. <laughs> That's a good start. I tried to get some crosses on him, but like I said, I'm really bad at it. So it's almost half a game gone and I haven't really tried something yet. Nice turn. Let's shoot normally. That was close. Not the, the best shot. I, I shot a bit weird there as well, I think. I'm not gonna lie, his dribbling feels pretty good as well. Okay, this is a free goal pretty much, but let's see. Okay, he didn't even have the ball. Like I said, I'm bad at crossing. <laughs> even when it's a free cross, I still can't do it. But he scored, that's, that's the important thing. Okay, nice run. Let's shoot normally with him. Nice. Okay, I did a Trivella, but I still count it as normal. He feels fast as well. It's, of course, with a Hunter. Okay, that, that was kind of bad by me. That's not his fault. Okay, we gotta change it up. We gotta bring some people with the whipped paws and see if that's gonna do anything. Because I struggle getting a cross in, but that's not Xerxes, eh? that's me. Oh, that would have been good. I just can't get it on his hat somehow. Maybe now. Should be. Okay, that, that's what you want from him. That's exactly what you want from him. So if you're good at crosses, if you're good at heading a ball, yeah, you're probably gonna enjoy him so far. <laughs> it's still with the hunter. Still gotta try him with the engine though. Let's see if we can get a normal cross in. We can't. That was good. That was actually good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, corners, you don't miss a corner anymore. Everything goes in with him. He's way too strong in the air for that. That was pretty good as well. Nice positioning by him to create the open space to get the pass in. And yeah, the, the power shot was very powerful. Let's try him now with an engine. Okay, <laughs> that was a good attempt. Okay, he feels a little bit more agile with an engine. And his shot is still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, with an engine, he feels actually more like the player I would play with. That was a good attempt as well. 
Yep, he doesn't miss with a corner. He literally doesn't. Wow. Oh! That's probably me missing, not him. The attempt was good, though. Strong and fast. And calculated. <laughs> no, I sure don't want to wait too late, therefore I couldn't go in, but... Sure. Okay. Didn't seem powerful, but the placement was perfect. He had that one backwards and it almost went in. Strong. Quite agile. On an engine, he actually doesn't feel like a 6 foot 4 player. Yep. <laughs> and it's another goal. Good pass by him as well. Let's give it to him. Oh, nope. Or yes, nope. <laughs> Should have just scored that. The way he walks to perfection to that ball. He was behind the defender and he just casually walks in front of it. Because of that, he still managed to score. Time to play him on a cam position. I'm playing like this. Zico goes to the left, Sergio to the striker. He plays on cam. Let's see. Good pass there. Again, good pass. Back to him. Strong. I wanted to shoot, but I forgot to press the button. But he was very strong there. That's the nice thing about a physical cam. That's what you can do. Strong against Van Dijk. Okay, my own player was in the way, otherwise I would have scored that. That was a sick run by him. Okay, here he doesn't really go to the attack too much. He has the high-low work rates, but still, he was just standing still there. Oh my god, that was insane. And that's kind of what I mean, right? Like, you get a little bit more space on the camp position. And his dribbling is actually, for his height, pretty good. Even against Hullet, he is strong there. Okay, I just kept running there. Yeah, like I said, for his height, that agility is so good. You don't expect it. Well, we played nine games, one guy left at 0-0, so that doesn't count. And three games I left when we were 2-0 behind and I just left right away. So realistically, he played six games, but let's count it as nine games. He has 14 goals, no assists. As I said before, I'm not good at crosses and heading a ball, but every corner was a goal. I couldn't really create much else in terms of crosses, but that's on me. So sorry I couldn't give you too much footage of that. But the way I play with him, the way I play with players, with a little bit more passing plays, agility, shooting, he was, especially for his price, really good. I think an engine is better on him, unless you're really good at crosses and stuff like that, then a hunter, I think, is better because you don't really dribble or pass with him anyways but i would say to make him more all round an engine is the way to go and cam not ideal does the job but you want him as a striker he's just so strong that he can grab the ball from others he wins physical duels with van dijk every corner is a goal his shooting is powerful he's quite agile for his height and his passing is nice because of his 91 short passing if you're in a low budget this guy is amazing but would he replace like ronaldo Mbappe, all those kind of players? No. There's a reason he's only 70,000 coins. Do I think he should be more than 70,000? Yes. I think if if he would be like 100, 200,000 coins, I think it would still be good in the current market because it's just a unique and fun player. But are you going to see him a lot in FUT champs? Probably not. Maybe as like a super sub and then you just want the corner and it's a goal. But yeah, that's about it. He's not going to stay in my main team, but I will take him as my super sub with me. I think he just misses too many other players 
play styles maybe to really, really be good. But as you saw in the clips, like the agility on him with an engine for a play that's six foot four is actually very good. He reminds me maybe a little bit of Ibrahimovic, but then without the skills. I think that would be the best comparison. Ibrahimovic, that kind of card, that's what he reminds me of, but then a little bit stronger even. So if you miss Ibrahimovic in the game and you want to give him a go, I don't think you're going to regret it at all. But if you are someone who plays in a meta way, I would stay away from him. But no matter if you want to have fun or are a meta player, if you want to play in your team that can do both, check out my Petit review right here because he was actually insane.